Hello, buyers, sellers, fellow hustlers, and treasure hunters. Um, I'm Jonathan, this is my first video. Um, I wanted to do this because there's a lot of sellers out there, or new sellers that are trying to find some advice on what kind of stuff to sell. And so I'm gonna show what, I've, what I have going out today. Uh, the first item is this Get Fit Alta accessory band. This item, I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar, and I think I had it listed at like $19.99, and I realized it wasn't the Fitbit Alta, it was just the accessory band, so I changed the listing a little while ago, and then I got an offer for $10 free shipping, so I made a couple bucks on that, but nice little find. Um, I like stuff like this because it's only going to cost me what, about $3 to ship and it, they're real easy little items to sell, little technology stuff like that, whether it's small like this or a video game, it's real small to ship and that, this is something I wish I did more when I first started reselling. When I first started reselling, I made a lot of mistakes and I was getting big clunky items and I'd list it for a certain price and sometimes I'd actually lose on shipping or break even or maybe I'd make a dollar or two and it wasn't really worth my time so to help your algorithm with eBay I'd really recommend starting with you know small cheaper items like this that boost your algorithm and get you in as a trusted seller then you can get more and more traffic to your store or page um, the second item this is all I have going out today I got this old school Kind of creepy looking vintage porcelain doll. I sold this for $41.99 free shipping. Um, I think I paid roughly about, I bought that in a lot a while back. I got 14 of them for uh, like 100 bucks or something like that. So it didn't cost me too much. Um, honestly, those items I wouldn't recommend picking up. That was when I was a little bit newer and I've had them kind of forever where they're really hard to sell and they're just not worth as much as you might think. Um, but this happened to be some type of real vintage, rare one. I sold a couple of them that were worth a decent buck, but like I said, it's not something I'd really recommend getting into the whole porcelain doll game unless you really know what you're doing. And I didn't, but with this one, I lucked out. I made a few bucks on that. As to, the stuff I'm going to be listing today, I'm going, I picked these up at a garage sale a little while ago. I think I paid maybe like $2 each, maybe $3. I don't quite remember. I just recently started having my wife help me logging what I'm paying for everything and what I'm selling out. So I'm starting to track my profit a little bit better. But I really like small stuff like this because I can just slip it in the mailbox on my way to work. and usually make a quick buck off of stuff like this. Stuff like this usually sells pretty fast. Um, stuff I recently listed, these are great that you can pick up, whether they're PlayStation 2 or Wii, the Guitar Hero game, We Play, this, they're not worth too much, but you could definitely get your money pretty quick with video games. This one, I got lucky, I think I paid, I paid $2 for this one. And this is worth a little bit more. They haven't sold yet, but I don't think I'm waiting too long for those to sell. Excuse me. Um, and one thing I recently listed that I want to show you guys, stuff like this does absolutely great for me, um, especially if you can get it cheap enough. This item over here, it's a vintage free beer set. I actually got this the other day. I just listed it yesterday. But I got this the other day at a garage sale for free. I bought a bunch of stuff at the sale when I was on my way out. I asked about it and they said, take it. It's yours. It was free. And I'll definitely, so whatever I sell this for is 100% profit. So I'm excited about that. Um, I want to keep this video short. Um, but something I've also had a lot of luck on. I've had a ton of luck with this kind of stuff. Is not because it's um, summer, but I found this, there. I haven't listed this one yet, but I found quite a few life vests at garage sales this year, and I've sold all of them, and 
they've sold pretty much overnight where I've more than doubled my money. I uh, think I picked up one for about 10 bucks. They sold it for 40. Another one, I pick, a kid's one, I picked up for I think five and I sold that for about 30 bucks. And before I go, uh, one little thing, a trick in that porcelain doll game I recently found out. Personally, I don't find this method ethical. It's not something I'd be willing to do. Uh, it's just not in my heart, but if it's something that uh, you guys might want to try, I'm not going to judge you for it. But like uh, these things, I, I mean, I find them kind of creepy. And what I've noticed is when it comes close to Halloween time, there's a lot of people on eBay that are selling haunted porcelain dolls, and then there's this whole creepy backstory that goes into it. Uh, I find it kind of comical that people try try that, and but it seems to work for a lot of people. Where I see a lot of them going for hundreds of dollars. So um, if if you don't find it unethical to try something like that, I mean, all the power to you. But it's not something that I personally would try. As for Mistakes I've made before I go Avoidwish.com. Whenever I first started reselling I bought a lot of stuff off of wish.com and most of it is just junk I avoid that try to stick with your quality items um, Other than that, I'm out for the day Happy hunting keep the treasure hunting going and keep hustling. Thank you all for listening